So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters and you want to make sure that you can see your graphics card. If you don't see it, it means that it might not be working or it's just not plugged in properly. But you want to make sure that you can at least see your graphics card. Now for the second method, you want to head over to GeForce Experience. If you do not have it downloaded, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description and then you can download it. So now once you're on GeForce Experience, you want to click on the drivers tab and then click on check for updates. And if your graphics card has an update, then you want to download it. Now for the third method, you want to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on any service, then click on N on your keyboard. You want to scroll down and you want to make sure that all the NVIDIA services are running. So for example, with the NVIDIA Display Container NS, you want to double click on it and then make sure that the starter type is on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service running. Now click on OK. You want to do the same thing for the other two as well. Change the starter type to automatic and then click on start. And click on OK. And now for the last one as well. Startup type automatic, click on start and then click on OK. If you already got to the stage and it was already started and it was already running, then you want to click on the service and then click on restart the service. Now once you complete that method, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. But if it's still not fixed as a last resort, then we're going to head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to scroll down until we find NVIDIA control panel. You want to click on the three dots, click on uninstall and then uninstall it. Now once you uninstall it, you want to head over to search again and type in Microsoft Store. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to search for NVIDIA control panel and then you just want to re-download it again.